Hi everyone, um, different sort of video today, you've not seen my face in a long while. Um, so my name is Matthew McKenzie, um, poet, author, uh, run my own care groups online most of the time. You have to excuse the beat, that's my um, a burglar alarm, I got burgled some months ago. Luckily nothing's got taken anyway, so that's because of a detection system. But anyway, going away from that, um, I usually do my poems, as I've mentioned, using this sort of fancy graphics, but I think it's good to, to do a poem, and I'd like to let you know that I do poems regarding the experience of providing care. Uh, when I say care, I'm talking about caring for someone who's unwell, maybe, or say with serious mental illness or serious physical illness. So. Just to let you know, the new poems that I'm working on is going towards my third book, which is um, a book on care poems. Some, I would say, healing poems. Some more of protest. Some can be used for training for mental health staff. I suppose that's who I engage with for a fair bit of the time. And that's who come to my forums to listen to carers, to talk to care members about the type of services that they provide. But anyway, I thought I'd do a poem anyway and ask you a few questions if you're interested about the poem's concept. Now this poem, um, which I call The Journey, number 15 of the poem in my book, um, I suppose, well, I don't know the best time for it, I think it's, the book's going to be called um, The Book of Poems on Mental Health Care, given it with a thought. But you can be applied to any sort of caregiving, to be honest. But anyway, this poem's called A Journey. It goes like this. It twists and winds, no end in sight. I learn each bend of the road. Looking for signals, learning the signs, each point in this way and that. Up the hill and round the bend, higher I climb and back down again stopping to ask each person I meet. Some are kind and some not so. No time to stop for fuel or rest even though I'm not so tired. No, I, I must rest. I need to take care of myself. So scared of what the future holds. But it's okay. Life is for living. But also for giving. I continue the journey, sometimes looking back. I see others on the journey, but splitting into different paths. I make my own path, and I leave a trail for others to follow. But the journey, even though it twists and turns, no end in sight, it's the only journey of life and caring that I know. Now I'm going to ask you a few questions regarding that poem called Journey. And I want you to, to reflect on that poem. Like all good poetry, I, I often would think people would reflect on it. And perhaps when you get the time, perhaps write a page about how you, as a carer, if you're a carer, an unpaid carer, a friend caring for someone or a neighbour, about your own journey. Um, it could be a poem if you're brave enough. That's one question. Just just to reflect on your own journey. The next question I would, I would like you to think of, really, or answer is, what is what do you think is the most important part of the journey as a carer? Or if you're caring, what, what do you think stuck out when, you know, or if you're caring now regarding your journey? So that's the most important part, so have to think about that. And the third question would be, uh, why, why do you think the journey can be so difficult for unpaid carers? And, you know, as far as I can tell, no, it's not, when someone's caring for someone, unless you have a lot of resources, as far as I'm giving you part of the answers, it's not going to be easy, but, but reflect on that. There's many different answers, to be honest, and it can relate to your own experiences. But anyway, that was the journey, and I hope you enjoyed that poem. I'm releasing more poems soon, so keep an eye on this channel, and I'll 
catch up with you soon again. Take care.